What's up guys, Nashi here and welcome back to my channel. So it's been some time now since huli akong nakapag-unbox ng device for you guys. So this time, mag-unbox ulit tayo. Ngayon naman, it's gonna be another budget to mid-range to lower mid-range smartphone and it is from Samsung. I'm talking about the Samsung Galaxy M20. So it's this one. See it? It's there. So, madami sa inyong magtatanong, bakit ngayon ko lang siya i-unbox? It was announced, I think, January of 2019. It was made commercially available February 2019 or probably magma-March na. Pero ngayon ko lang siya i-unbox. The reason for this is, this month, nilabas na ni Samsung yung One UI or Android Pie update for the said device. Kasi, nung nilabas siya, guys, naka-Android Oreo pa siya. So, basically, lumang software version na to ng Android dahil currently Android Pie yung pinaka latest na labas niya for smartphones. So, kaya I think it's very timely for me to unbox and review the Galaxy M20. So, i-unbox na natin. Huwag na natin patagalin pa. Let's get down to business because it's about to get nasty. Isang paalala, ang video na ito ay hindi katang isip lamang. Ito ay pinag-isipan na talagang pinaghirapan. Kaya huwag kalimutang ilike at mag-subscribe sa aking YouTube channel. I-follow mo namin ako sa Facebook, Twitter, at Instagram. The Samsung Galaxy M20 comes with a 6.3-inch PLS TFT display of 1080p Full HD resolution. It is powered by an Exynos 7904 processor with 32 gigs of expandable storage and 3 gigs of RAM. It runs Android 8 Oreo but is upgradable to Android 9 Pie with one UI. It has a dual camera setup, a 13 megapixel primary camera plus a 5 megapixel ultra wide camera. It also has an 8 megapixel selfie camera. It has a large 5000 mAh battery with 15 watts fast charging support. It has Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS, LTE, FM radio, USB-C 2.0, and dual SIM support. It also has a 3.5mm audio jack and a rear-mounted fingerprint scanner. So, ya yeah, unbox na natin itong Samsung Galaxy M20. Actually, kaka-deliver lang nito recently. Basically, this is the box. Ayan, it says here, Samsung Galaxy 20 on front. If you go sa top. Ayan, tinanggal ko, tinupit ko na yung sa seal niya, pati sa baba. And then, it says here, Samsung Galaxy F20 on the left, on the right side, seal lang din niya. And then, below, we have like yung mga codes, codes niya. Color niya is ocean blue. So, let's start unboxing it na. So, tinatanggal lang ng ganun yung taas. And then, mayroon ditong parang uh, lip na pwede mong haltakin. And then, you'd see the phone here. Tingnan natin kung anong laman nito. So, mayroon tayong quick start guide at warranty card. Mayroon ba siyang ibang laman? Wala na siyang ibang laman. Wala siyang kasamang free na clear case. So, dito tayo sa phone itself. So, ito yung phone. Ayan. Naka-plastic pa siya. Hindi natin dyan. And then, we have here some the charger. Ito yung adapter niya. And of course, Ito yung cord, USB cable, USB-C cable, at libreng earphones. At may kita mo sa ilalim yung SIM ejector tool. Ayan. So, yun lang guys. Yun yung laman niya. I mean, hindi naman din tayo nag-expect ng sobrang daming laman. Considering this is a budget to low mid-range phone. So, I think decent na tong content niya. So, considering meron siyang kasamang earphone. Kasi mga iba guys, wala naman sila nilalagay ni earphone. So, lagyan naman natin siya dyan. At magta tayo sa phone itself. So, ito guys yung phone. Tanggalin natin yung plastic. Paano ba ito? Ito. Naka, ano siya, medyo sticky. Ayan. Wow. It's a big phone. 
pero hindi mo siya mahirap hawakan. Ayan. So, it says here sa likod, 32 gig. Of course, may NTC seal. Tingnan muna natin yung phone itself. So, sa harap, makikita mo na it's almost full screen siya. And sa back niya, you'd see may dual camera, may LED flash, may fingerprint scanner, and the logo. Below, you'd see the speaker grill, microphone, USB-C port, and the 3.5mm jack. Dito, basically, this is the SIM tray. At sa kabilang side ay volume and power buttons lang. Sa taas, it's just the microphone. So, buksan natin. Makikita nyo na very minimal tong bezels niya. And then, mayroon lang din siyang maliit na notch dito, which Samsung calls Infinity U. Below, mayroon siyang onting chin, pero it's not as thick as yung mga competitors niya, like the Redmi Note 7 or the Realme 3. So, ayan yung phone itself. So, kung titignan natin, naka-Android 8.1 siya, which is still Oreo. Samsung Experience version 9.5, which is yung UI niya. And then, ang security patch level niya ay January 1, 2019 pa. So, obviously, kailangan ko pa siya, guys, i-upgrade at i-update. Pero for now, tingnan lang natin yung mga iba niyang features. So, naka-pre-install si Facebook. May mga ilang Samsung apps dito. Google apps. Microsoft apps. Interesting guys, mayroon siyang FM radio. Ayan, ito yung camera niya. So, magagawa tayo ng mas extensive na testing ng camera niya. What do I like about the Samsung Galaxy M20 smartphone? Number one, it has an ultra-wide angle camera. So, this is the regular wide camera. And then, if ultra-wide, you'd see more in the picture. Number two is that it comes with a dedicated micro SD card slot. So I have here the SIM ejector tool which you know came with the box. We have two slots for SIM cards, nano SIM cards. So you can use both SIM cards at the same time and you can also add a micro SD card. Number three is that it comes with a large 5000 mAh battery. So number four is that it comes with a 1080p full HD display. Again, some of its competitors max out at 720p HD which is kind of low especially that their screens are really big now so you can see some pixelation but here on the Galaxy M20 since it's 1080p full HD you'd barely notice like any pixelation in the screen so it's quite sharp. Last but not the least is it comes with a USB-C 2.0 port so I don't know if you can see it clearly so there so it's reversible it's future proof so I think that all smartphones that have been released in 2019 should come with a USB-C port. There are also things that, you know, perhaps Samsung could have improved on on the Galaxy M20. Number one would be when you go to camera, there's no dedicated night mode. See? Like... There's nothing. Number two has something to do more with the chipset. So, it comes with an Exynos chipset and a Mali GPU. In itself, it's not bad. But if you look at competing smartphones, they would come with a Snapdragon chipset. Others with a more powerful GPU. And lastly, and look at software information, it ships with Android 8.1 Oreo and the Samsung Experience version 9.5 overlay or UI. So, it doesn't come with Android 9 Pie and the One UI overlay. This month, Samsung has already started seeding the Android 9 Pie with One UI OS on Galaxy M20 smartphones in some countries. So, 
Hopefully, the unit that we have here would also get the same Android 9 Pie update within this month of June 2019. So how does the Galaxy M20 compare to its competitors? Well, I have here a chart which you can pause to see how it compares spec by spec. Here we have the Samsung Galaxy M20 versus the Redmi Note 7 by Xiaomi. Then we have the Samsung Galaxy M20 versus the Realme 3. Lastly, we have the Galaxy M20 versus the Honor 10 Lite. So nakita nyo na guys yung pag-unbox ko dito sa Galaxy M20 ni Samsung. Sana nagustuhan nyo tong review na ito. May mga susunod pa akong review. Of course, gagawin din natin siya ng camera review at gaming review. Thank you so much guys for tuning in. If you enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. Only here on the channel where Nashti is nice. I'm Nashti. Till then.